In this video, we're going to talk about how to get a linear equation given a data set. So let's say on the left we have the data for the x variable, and on the right the data for the y variable. And so for x, let's just use integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 10. And now this is going to be the data for y. So the first one is going to be 1.59 and then 2.87, 4.15, and I'm almost done. Eleven point seven five, and finally thirteen point twelve. So what can we do if we want to find the slope and the y-intercept between these two data sets. So first, let's type in slope and then y-intercept. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. And let me make uh, this column a little bit bigger. So here's what you need to do. Type in equal and then slope parentheses. Now notice that it says the known y values. So highlight the column with the y values. After that, press comma. And then for the known x values, highlight uh, that column and then close the parentheses. So this will give you the slope between the y values and the x values. Keep in mind, slope is rise over run. You can also calculate the slope using this formula. It's y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. But this gives us the slope of the line that best represents uh, this data. So now to find the y-intercept, type in equal intercept parentheses and then highlight the known y values and then comma highlight the column with the x values. And then that's it. So that's how you can find a y-intercept. Now to write the equation of the line, you could use the formula y is equal to mx plus b. So m is the slope. b represents the y-intercept. So with that information, we can now write the linear equation. So all you need to do is replace m with the slope, which is 1.26776, but I'm going to round that to 1.27, just to make life simple. And then 0 0.3013, I could just round that to 0 0.3 instead of 0 0.30. And so this is our linear equation. And so that's how you can write it if you ever have a lab report and you need to find a linear equation that relates the x variables to the y variables. Now, there is another way in which we can get the same answer. So let's say if we highlight just this column because the x variables are just integers. If we highlight the, the column with the data for the y-axis and then go to insert, let's select a chart and let's use a 2D line chart. And so we get a straight line and then if you click on the line and then right click it, select add tread line. We're going to choose the linear option, and then if you scroll down, select display equation on chart, and you can also select display R value, the R squared value. And so you can see the equation that we have, y equals 1.2678x plus 0 0.3013. And we have those numbers, 1.2677, which you can round that to 1.2678, and we do have 0 0.3013. So that's the second way in which you can get the slope, the y-intercept, and the equation at the same time. Now the r value is the correlation value. Right now we have r squared. And so in order to calculate r, we need to use the square root and then type in 0.9994. So the r value is 0.9997. It's about 1. And when the r value is equal to 1, that means you have strong correlation between the x and y values. 
so we have a linear relationship. If r is close to zero, that means that there is no correlation. So that means you don't have a linear relationship with your uh, x and y variables. And so that's what the r value is used for. It helps you to gauge how well your data fits a linear relationship. And so that's it for this video. Now you know how to find a slope, the y-intercept, and the linear equation that corresponds to a data set with x and y variables. Thanks for watching.